Now to the schools being set up with the help of taxpayer money, even though they have direct links to a church described as a cult. They're called Applied Scholastics, and they don't believe in homework, but they do believe in the gospel according to L. Ron Hubbard, the founder of Scientology, using his teaching methods. Georgia Main reveals they also believe in expansion, staging a major recruitment drive. What is the Church of Scientology hiding? If you look at the way they teach, it's uh, out of the mainstream, if I could put it that way. Door knocking, letterbox dropping, the campaign to recruit young non-believers in full swing. Are they effectively using taxpayer monies to recruit new members? Set in the Melbourne suburb of Moorabark, this looks like a regular school. Truth be told, it is one of only two schools in the entire country to teach the methods of Scientology founder L. Ron Hubbard. And now it's luring families with this pamphlet and the promise of no homework. Homework is very important. If you look at those countries that outperform Australia in literacy and numeracy, those students have a lot more homework, especially in middle upper primary school. Yarralinda School teaches applied scholastics based on Hubbard's teaching methods. Dr Kevin Donnelly is the director of the Education Standards Institute. There are a lot of claims made for it, but I've seen very little evidence to support those claims. That hasn't stopped Scientologist Kate Sobrano being Yarralinda School's patron, or Tom Cruise, the global ambassador for applied scholastics. In Germany, schools that use it are heavily monitored. The Berlin Education Department even calling it psychologically damaging in 1991. Hi there. Today, we didn't get far asking the church for answers. Stopped by security, we were handed a statement saying while a group of parents who are Scientologists formed Yarralinda, it is fully independent of the church. Yarralinda boasts just 26 students, but received $300,000 in federal stimulus money in 2009 and will receive $340,000 in federal government funding over four years. Each student is allocated $3,700 from funding and school fees, but our investigation has revealed that's well below the norm. According to the Education Union, students require funding of between ten dollars and $15,000 each. The school is in fact believed to be in debt. We obtained this document written by school principal Crystal Duffy detailing a plan to mortgage the school for a million dollars. That money used to assist in buying the Church of Scientology's glossy new $7 million headquarters. But according to the My School website, Yarralinda has allocated nearly 70% of its entire income to paying off debt. Most of that money coming from federal and state funding. No wonder it's on a recruitment drive. And I believe they contributed a million dollars to help pay for this building. Do you yeah, know anything not, about that? We're not going to answer any questions today. Is this what state and federal taxpayer funds are meant to be used for? That's why... I've written to the schools minister asking that he investigate this as a matter of urgency. Independent Senator Nick Xenophon and anti-Scientology crusader. You've got to ask whether the Church of Scientology is using this school as a way to indoctrinate young kids to become lifelong supporters and cash cows for the Church of Scientology. While we did ask the school principal to explain the no homework policy, the funding it receives and whether or not it contributed a million dollars to the construction of the church, all our questions went unanswered. My message to local residents is to be very wary about this school, to be very wary about the claims made, and also to ask the Church of Scientology why aren't they out front about their involvement in this school.